the speech for uh, the international speech competition at my other club, which is in two weeks. So it's still in draft form, and I'm going to be reading it. Would love your feedback. In order to succeed, you need to be willing to fail and 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 fail. Would you like to know the recipe for honeymoon salad? Let us alone. That was one of my mom's favorite jokes. My mom <laughs> loved telling jokes, playing the piano, and sewing. But what she loved more than any of those was gardening. When my mom was 35, a degenerative disease took a hold of her body and began to dramatically lower, lower her physical abilities. Soon she could no longer garden on her own. She needed me to do the physical labor of gardening. I was in my early 20s, and I was home for college for the summer. Mom would sit in a lawn chair, in later years a wheelchair, and patiently instruct me. Cut off that branch. Hammer that stake firmly into the ground. Put several seeds into each hole. That last direction gave me pause. I asked my mom, why should we put several seeds into each hole? I mean, isn't each hole only for one plant? My mom explained to me that most of the seeds you plant will not germinate. And even of the seeds that do germinate, most of those will still not grow into plants. A few years later, my mom died too young at the age of 50. And even though I never took up gardening on my own, I always remembered what my mom taught me through her gardening. In order to succeed, you need to be willing to fail and 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 fail. Several years after my mother's death, I took a comedy writing class at the Second City. One of the things we learned was the rule of 10. The rule of 10 says that out of every 10 things you write, nine of them are not going to work. In other words, to write something that works, you have to be willing to write a bunch of things that don't work. Over the next four years, I wrote 10 jokes every day. 365 days per year times four years equals 14,000 plus jokes over those four years. Most of those jokes were terrible, but some of them worked, like this one. When I was growing up in Barnesville, Ohio, I was different from the other kids. Whenever we played cowboys and Indians, I was always Gandhi. <laughs> in any creative endeavor, you have to be willing to fail in order to succeed. Most people never get to creating the good stuff because they're not willing to create the bad stuff. When I embraced failure as a joke writer, I started writing good jokes. When my mom embraced failure in gardening, she produced petunias, tulips, and zucchini. She produced other vegetables too, but out of the 10 vegetables I brainstormed while writing the end of the speech, zucchini was the funniest sounding. Because you see, in order to succeed, you have to be willing to fail and 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 fail. And fail. Mr. Toastmaster?